All right, folks, welcome back to another video here with Top Comics Expressing. In this video, what I'm going to do is go over how I send my books to CGC to get them graded. Uh, and it's really about how I pack my box. So to make the life a little bit more complicated, what we're going to do is take uh, two orders and send them in the same box. So the first order here is going to be for a in-house private signing with Hugh Jackman. He's going to hopefully sign this very awesome copy of X-Men, the movie trade paperback. Uh, and then the other is a 10 comic modern submission. So I have prepped this book with a nice uh, window bag. And so hopefully he'll be polite enough to sign that and some nice silver or gold you suck ryan hugh jackman that would be really awesome uh hopefully he'll do that as uh you might be aware the all of the cgc submissions for in-house private signing come with these little cutout slips that you're supposed to slide in your backer board so i've got one of those in here um so that cgc knows whose book it is without having to open and manipulate it and they can keep track of it in case the uh, artist or creator shuffles stuff uh, I always take this because this is now exposed right here within this window so that it can be directly signed. Um, everything up here is protected, but this is exposed. So I usually try to slide those inside of another uh, larger one. So this is a two mil Mylar uh, and it is with a full backing board. It is the standard size. This is the silver golden age. It's the same dimensions. Um, and so I s slide that out and slide it in. And I'm just going to do that off camera so I can um, protect the labels. go um, and now I'm just going to tape it on up here right right over the edge and so I like this because it um, helps keep that book protected um, throughout and so I know if I tape that on over tape that on over and now you know it's clearly protected all the way through there and if I flip it over putting my thumb over the important information here uh, you can see it's fully protected there so on that side fully protected this side fully protected um, and that book sandwiched and CGC will know whose book it is because on both sides they can see one of those tags hanging out so that's at least my strategy for that um, and then what I'm going to do here is pack that in some cardboard so this is not any old cardboard I've carefully considered that the corrugations on the larger piece here are going vertical and the corrugations on the smaller piece are going sideways. And so that's a, an important strategy because if anything hits it from the top or the bottom, um, then the bottom piece here is going to take care of that. And if anything hits it from the left or the right, then this piece will be there to support it. And so by crisscrossing those pieces of corrugation, we should be able to get some extra support. Um, now, when I do uh, my packing, I use the roughly inch and a half green frogger tape here and i really like this stuff i uh, am trying to be very diligent never to tape a comic across the spine so i always tape top and bottom at least that's my strategy here is always to tape the top edge and the bottom edge i try never to tape across the spine edges uh, on any of those let me pull out that sticky note i'm gonna just do the same thing right here with some more of this tape again going right across the top edge and I really like this stuff because it's pretty clear to somebody opening it up where the tape is. It's super obvious and this stuff peels off pretty well and it also tears pretty well. And so you don't have to put a lot of stress on your book to do that. And so now we have our nice um, comic sandwich here uh, and it's protected from both edges. And so that's what I like. Um, just so CGC knows what's in there, then I go ahead and tape this invoice um, on both the top and the bottom. So I, I print off two of these um, invoice sheets and I'm gonna put one of them on there. The, the top half of this has all of my address information on it. So I'm not gonna show that. I have these carefully folded so that you only see the order number there or what book is included in the in-house private signing. So this then is a stack and this is all set to go um, in a box. So then the next submission here, we can go ahead and take a look through. CGC does ask you to very carefully make sure that the order of the comics on here matches the order. And so let's do that really quick. Uh, we have Spider-Man and his amazing friends. I'm going to try to do my best to grab everything from the bottom edge, not from the top, um, or sorry, from the top and the bottom. You don't want to put your thumb through or across that spine again when handling these. You know, if these were all freshly pressed, there's no point in putting a nice spine tick in there while you're grabbing and manipulating them all. So from the top edge and the bottom edge is my preferred. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man is number two. Uh, and you'll notice now I'm going, for, these were all up right side up. These are now up, upside down. So there's our Uncanny and our Star Wars. So that's next. Um, now we should have Hulk, Captain America, 
And the reason I do that is because this lip and the tape does take up space, and by rotating them and alternating them, you're, you're making that flatter. And by going cover to cover, you're putting the staples on the opposite sides as well. And so that all in all makes a very even stack. What you don't want to do is have everything going the same face-up direction, because then behind the books you build up you know, that thickness of tape and the back flap, and then along this side, you end up building up thickness on the staples, and that's where you get misaligned pressure. And so I've just done this so that, you know, the staples of this book are going to complement the staples of this book, which are going to be over here. And so then the staples kind of have the same thickness, and because the flap up top is complemented by the ones underneath it that have the flap on the bottom, you know, I'm never going to end up building up a lot of uh, thickness that way. And so there we are. Those are our 10 comics. We've now double check them so it's time to get out our cardboard Oop, i just dropped that one down below which is not what i wanted to do Went right off my desk so there we go so again the one in my right hand here has corrugation going left and right this one has corrugation going up and down and so that's exactly what we want we're just going to start this by moving that pile again top edge over first and uh, again i think a lot of people are tempted to tape left and right on these. I never do that because I don't want to even risk, even for a slightest second, putting any stress through the spine of some, some of these freshly pressed books. So we're going to do one there. Do one over here. And I really like this tape because it gives enough area, it gives enough grip. And you can see, you know, even as I wiggle this, those books are not going anywhere. So they're secured even with that amount of tape. And when you put this on there with some extra pressure, it'll hold tight. And I've never heard anybody complaining that my stacks come loose when I, when I pack them like this. Especially when I mail clients books home to them. Nobody's ever accused me of having bad, bad shipping. So... I assume that means it works well. All right, so there we go. Um, you know, pretty secure like that. This is a brick. Now let's go ahead and take these uh, invoices, tape them again the same way. And uh, I think that this is important to let CGC know exactly what's in that in that pile. And I think especially if you're combining multiple orders in the same submission, you can do that. Um, you know, if you have multiple bundles in the same 25 comic lot, you know, I usually label those one of, two, two of two, etc. cetera, uh, depending on how many stacks you got. So here are my two, my two stacks. So these are all set now, um, and we can go ahead and get those into a box. Uh, I've got some bubble wrap here. Usually I bubble wrap around those boxes. I think a lot of people over tape their bubble wrap. Uh, there's not really gonna be a lot of space for this to go afterwards. So I'm kind of an under taper on the inside, mostly because it's really annoying if you have clear cellophane tape to try to figure out where that's um, coming loose in here. So I'm just going to do that and then put one big piece of Frogger tape here across the top and I bet you that would be just fine to hold this secure. There we go, I'll just give that there. And that's all I'm really going to need because we're going to put this in a box that's going to have a bunch of stuff around it. So it's not like that big pile is going to have ability to wiggle. I tend to go for a slightly bigger box than you need, but you definitely want some perimeter. Let's just get some packing materials there and get our brick in. And it's got plenty of space below it. So we got some newsprint and some bubble wrap. You can see that if I hold this up, there's a nice uh, lip and a perimeter there uh, for us to get stuff around. Uh, in this case, I happen to have some newspaper instead of bubble wrap. I'm not really passionate. The important thing is we've got all of these with you know, a pretty big border on that cardboard. And uh, I encourage people not to overstuff this. So you know, if you put too much material in here and the box takes a hit, there's not a whole lot for it to compress into other than your comic books, and so that's what you don't want. So it's important to be able to have a little bit of cush, a little bit of space, so that if the box gets whacked, the material around the comics can compress instead of transferring that stress into your comic books. And if it's one big brick and it gets hit, it's going to transfer all that damage. You want it to be able to squish um, on all sides. So we got that. We got some more bubble wrap up top here. My test to see if I have this packed with enough stuff is to shut it and then give it a little bit of a shake. And as long as it doesn't rattle, to me, that's good. I try not to overdo it. There we go. So now we got some tape on there. Um, obviously a reused box, so I'll try to clean up some of these tidbits before I fully seal it up. But that's the gist. So I think it's important to have that cardboard around your comics. I think it's important to have those invoices so that they're very obvious to CGC. 
um, what order corresponds to which stack. So I'm sure that they appreciate that. Um, what I will also say is, you know, when buying the label here to actually send off, I use the web page Shippo. The reason I do that is it shows me FedEx, UPS, and USPS all at the same time. Uh, often it is discounted relative to the counter price at any of the three uh, major suppliers or shippers. Um, and so you can compare how fast you want it to get there, cost, and you can input both the weight and the dimensions. I just have a regular scale and a tape measure to input how big the box is and how much it weighs. So that's how I do it. Hopefully you got some value out of this. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, or a subscribe, um, and keep your fingers crossed for me that these come back from CGC as expected. All right, one detail I forgot here um, about this box before I attached a label, but after I killed the other video is for in-house private signings, you do always wanna put that label on there. So in this case, we've got Hugh Jackman, so HJ, and I've put that on the box in multiple spots so that there's really no possibility CGC is gonna miss that. You can see it's on it's on all six faces. It's probably on here eight or ten times total. Um, you could also need to do the same thing for walkthrough standard or express. Any of the elite tiers, they ask you to write that on the box. I put it on there multiple times in nice big letters so that from arm's length or across the room, you can clearly see that there's something written on there. Um, do not write it in little itty bitty letters and hope that CGC is going to find it. Make it nice big, nice big gigantic letters. Maybe we even need to make it bigger across this one here. We'll just go overboard. Um, anything to let them know they should be paying attention to who the signing is or if it's one of the elite tiers. All right, so I just wanted to add that in there to clarify uh, before this thing gets shipped away. So thank you, and again, keep your fingers crossed that the grading is ever in my favor.